In this video, we're going to add a non-removable watermark to a PDF. First, open Windows Explorer. Locate the file you wish to protect. Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the Writer window, select the View Watermarks tab. In the Text Watermark area, select the Add Text Watermark box. The text area now becomes live and is showing an example of a dynamic watermark. This consists of a combination of ordinary text and system variables. For a full list of system variables available, click the Add System Variable button on the right. Here we have username, user company, user email, date and time, date and publisher. When the document is viewed or printed, these variables are replaced by user or system data by the viewing application. We will now set up a confidential watermark. Highlight the existing text in the window and press delete. First type, this document is confidential and only. Add a space. Now add the username variable from the drop down list of system variables. Add another space. Now add the email variable from the drop down list of system variables. Then add another space. Finally type is allowed to view it, full stop. Final wording should read, this document is confidential and only username and email is allowed to view it. When you are happy with the design of your watermark, click the font settings button. Here you can change the font type, font style, text size, text color, set a background color, choose a transparent background if required, or change the script. When you are happy with these settings, click OK. Now set the position of the watermark by using the drop down arrow and selecting from the list. We will select top center and bottom center. Depending on the position of the watermark and the length, you may wish to select the word wrap option. Next, select the opacity of the watermark using the slider. From completely visible at 255 to almost invisible at 10. We will set it around halfway. You can view and fine tune the position of the watermark by selecting the Customize Position button on the right. In the viewer, you can scroll up and down through the page using the slider and view any additional pages using a drop down at the top right corner. As this document contains a header and a footer, we will adjust the watermark accordingly. We can click and drag the top watermark to appear just below the blue header. Then scroll down and click and drag the bottom watermark to sit just above the footer. When you are happy with these adjustments, click the Save Position button at the top left corner. The final option is whether or not to add the watermark to the first page of the document. To not add it, check the box. To add it, leave the box unchecked. Why would you use this option? You may wish to select this option when the first page of the document is a cover page or perhaps for presentational purposes. Finally, Click the preview button if you want to see what the watermark will look like when the document is viewed. Please note, you cannot move the watermark in the preview window and the image opacity will always be shown at full opacity. If you're happy with all the settings, 
close the window, click publish. The protection status window appears, showing the protection has succeeded. Click OK. The newly protected document now appears in the folder under the original PDF. Please note that the file extension is now .pdc. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened with a Lock Lizard Secure PDF Viewer. If we double click on the file, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. As you can see, the document is now showing the confidential watermark at the top and bottom of the page and displaying the current user's name and email address. Please note, when a document has been protected, as this one has, it cannot be edited in any way, and therefore the watermark cannot be removed. When you have finished, close the viewer, close Windows Explorer.